right. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. All right. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Activate, or as uh, Pastor Jay said, Activate, Activate. Bible Study for All. Uh, I am Lady Cherie Sneed, and this is Pastor, Pastor Jay, Jay what up? Right, who is uh, also sharing to yes. as many pages as he can. Yes. So we encourage you to uh, click that like button and share it. Amen. Share it on your page because we got a very, 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 very good lesson tonight. I'm kind of, I'm very excited about it. Me too, me too. Okay. So, um, so now that you have clicked like, you have shared, you got your cup of coffee, <laughs> you got a notebook and your Bible, you are ready. ready. Amen. Amen. So at this time, uh, we're going to have uh, Pastor Jay welcome Amen. us with prayer. Amen. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer real quick. Father, we thank you today, thank Lord God. Jesus. Bless us as we enter into Amen. your word. Yeah, open us up to receive a word from you, Lord God. Yes. Speak to our hearts, speak to our minds, Lord God. Speak to our actions. In a wonderful name we pray and say. Amen. 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 So we are continuing our journey. Yes. Our yes, journey yes. through the parable. Yes. And this time we are talking about the parable of the ten, ten virgins. virgins. So I would like everyone to go to uh, Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 13. And Pastor, would you like for me to read it today? Go ahead if you want to, baby. All right. Go ahead. All right. All right. So at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Jesus. Five of them were foolish <laughs> and five of them were wise. The foolish one took their lamps, but did not take any oil with them. Mm. Mm. The wise ones, however, mm. took oil in jars along with their lamps. Mm -hmm. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, oh. and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. Mm. At midnight, the cry rang out, here's the bridegroom, mm. come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. Mm. The foolish ones said to the wise, give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied. <laughs> there may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. <laughs> but while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him mm. to the wedding banquet. Jeez. And... The door was shut. <laughs> Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Jesus. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. May Ooh. the Lord bless the reader, the doer, and the hearer of oh, his, his word. Amen. 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 So, real quick, man, what, what, what you think about so far with what you just read? I mean, well, you ready to dive into this? I'm, I'm ready. I am ready. <laughs> I know that there is, a, a, on the face of it, you think, wow, that was a, so, uh, either it's like, those are some needy chicks. Yeah. Or, they weren't prepared. Yeah. Or on the other hand, well, why did they give them some oil? You could have gave them a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But you know, it's it's I know that it is a it's a deep message today. Yeah, it, it's it's it, it you know what I what I like about this parable <laughs> is that it tried to trick you. Yeah. It tried to trick you on the mere fact that it was thinking natural. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it was just like a bunch of oil that you can go buy real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at the Home Depot. Go to the Home Depot. <laughs> go to Lowe's. Go to Lowe's. Go get you some oil real quick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but but I like how they, I like how the writer uh, did this. Um, okay, so first, brothers and sisters, welcome. 
what we do is we we dive in here. We're going to talk about a few things, but this is a discussion. If you feel if you have anything on your on your heart that you want to say, you, you feel like you want to express, feel free to do that. Uh, but the first thing we must do and we must understand is who is the writer? Who is the writer? Who's the author of Matthew? Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's not always who is named no, after. It's not always who is named okay. after. So you always got to check that out and make sure you understand who is writing, who is writing the book, who wrote the book, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is under things to know. Things to know. Things to know. Amen. Who wrote the book of Matthew? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this instance, the apostle Matthew wrote the book of Matthew. Amen. Um, Matthew represents brothers and sisters, gift of God or gift of Yahweh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gift of God or gift of Yahweh. So why did Matthew write the book of Matthew, right? Matthew wrote the book of Matthew to show that Jesus was and is indeed the king. Israel's long awaiting Messiah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you know anything about the story, Israel wanted a king. Israel wanted a, a Messiah. They wanted somebody they could look to for guidance. Mm -hmm. And Matthew was giving them in the book of Matthew the instructions of who that was. Wow. And that was Jesus. Amen. Right. Amen. So now that we have that, let's dive into the parable. We're going to take it from the first one. What is the kingdom of heaven? Yeah. What is the kingdom of heaven, babe? What is the kingdom of heaven to you? I mean, without us diving in here real quick, let's just have a <laughs> conversation, you know, slow it down a little bit, you know. No, okay. I'm just playing. But what is the kingdom of heaven to you? The kingdom of heaven yes. is uh, definitely not earth. <laughs> it's not where we are right now. You said the kingdom of heaven is not earth. There's too much going, too much going, too much going on in our world right now. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I think I think of the kingdom of heaven as being a place of peace. Yes. Uh, when yes. there are, are no wars or are no... Uh, bigotry and, and violence yes. and uh, yes. uh, a place where uh, you are at peace and at rest. Yes. And everything is super simple. Mm, mm, so mm. I think the kingdom of heaven. What do you think, Pastor? Kingdom of heaven to me is I can't I can't get rid of the kingdom of heaven uh, without I can't dive into the, the understanding of the kingdom of heaven without looking at the first Genesis. Mm -hmm. Okay. God's creation. Mm -hmm. uh, the kingdom of heaven to me is like creation. God yeah. creating. Mm -hmm. God creating. God putting things together. Yeah. God separating things. Mm -hmm. God building things. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. God inspiring things to happen. Yes. You know, bringing it forth. Like mm -hmm. the word of God says in Genesis. That's what I think about the kingdom of heaven. I, I think it's a place where uh, our... our um, our understanding, our inspiration, mm -hmm. our um, anything that our ideas come from. Wow. That's what I think mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven is. So it's know? an inspiring, a yeah. place of inspiration. Yeah, a place of inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like like the, the, the nucleus of things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like where, where everything that happens in your life before it can get to there, it has to go through this. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I think the kingdom of heaven is to me. Okay. You know, that's just a, a broad understanding of what, what what I feel like it is. You know, yeah. um, and in that area, there's no um, wickedness. Mm -hmm. In that area, there's no um, hate. Mm -hmm. In that area, there's no there's no time, no room for uh, deception. Mm -hmm. That's what I think about the kingdom of heaven. Um, but this is what the kingdom of heaven represents, brothers and sisters. It says the kingdom of heaven is a central theme 
in the New Testament, mm -hmm. right? Where Jesus Christ used the phrase frequently. Frequently. It's also known as the kingdom of God. It's also known as the kingdom of God, which is used in the gospel of Mark and Luke. Mm -hmm. It's a process where God begins to act as king or Lord in the world of man. Yeah. Did you get that? Where God begins to act as king or Lord in, in the, the world, world of man. man. That's, that's, that's kind of interesting. It's yeah. like, wait a minute. Now we're, we're talking about, we're talking about the kingdom of God, but then he mentions the world of man. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see what I'm saying? He yeah. mentions the world of man. Mm -hmm. So he's a king or the Lord in the world of man. Yes. In other words, he's putting God in the process or in the position in natural beings. Wow. And on earth, mm -hmm. that's where the world of man is, mm -hmm. on earth. Man. So mm -hmm. it, it's giving you the king and the Lord in the world of man, of man. So this is like putting him at the top of everything, everything. And on earth. Man. On earth, right. Manifesting his being God, right? Yes. So... We're going to dive into a couple of scriptures that talks about or tell you what the kingdom of heaven is. Luke 17 and 21 says this real quick. I don't have that one, Pastor. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, I, I do it. I do it. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Yes. Woo! Man. <laughs> like, could you read that one more time? Okay. I'm going to say it again. It says, Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Jesus. That's Hallelujah. Also, that's also like the breath and the life of God. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm yes. With, yes. With you. Okay. The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is within Amen. you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And for anybody that wants to know that scripture, that is Luke 17 and 21. This is the King James Version. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it again. It says, neither shall they say lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And that's everybody. That's everybody. He didn't say, if you're a sinner, he's not in you. If you're a person that's the saint, he's in you. No, he says, neither shall they say, lo is here or lo is there. For behold, the kingdom of God mm -hmm. is within you. Yeah. The kingdom of God is within everybody. Mm -hmm. Every single person. Yeah. Every single person. What should you think about that? That is. Uh, that, re that reminds me of the breath and the life of God. Yes. That everyone um, is a creation of God. Yes, yes. And that he can, it's, it's kind of like when people say, well, you know, he can use anyone. Yes. He actually can. Yes, yes, he can. He actually yes, can. He can. Yes, he can. Yes, mm -hmm. he can. It gives you, it gives you the sense to understand that he created all things. All things all he created. Things. So in other words, how do you know you're created? Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within us. Hey, thank you. Jesus. The kingdom of God is within us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Uh, so are you saying, uh, Pastor Jay, that he's in that guy that 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 uh the people that, that commit violence? It says, neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Yes, yes the kingdom of God is still within people that commit yes. violence. Yes. People that, that is hateful. It's still, the kingdom of God is still 
within. Because God can change their heart. Yeah, God can Only change their heart. can change them. But at the same time, God also gives them life. Yes. God also gives them life. Mm -hmm. He can change their heart, but he also gives life. God gives life. Mm -hmm. That's what gives them the simple fact that the kingdom of heaven is still within them. Mm -hmm. Amen. God gives them life. As long as they're breathing, even if they're mean, as long as they're breathing, the, the kingdom of God is within them. Amen. 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 Anything you want to say? Or... No, that card that got me. I'm still thinking. I'm yeah. pondering on that. Yeah, because yeah. That's. I mean, that's. You know, people want to. You know, mm -hmm. put different people to the side. Oh, you know. Yes. Yes. Oh, they're not of God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's just not the case. It's not the case. That's not the case. In, in the scripture, um, that He created heaven and earth. He created good and mm -hmm. evil. Mm-hmm. He created good and evil. I think that scripture is, let's see, what's that scripture? While you're looking for that, uh, the Elder Robinson, uh, he is on and, and, and taking over the chat line. Hey. I appreciate you, Elder. What's up, Elder? Elder Robinson said, uh, so men must look to God. Yes, yes. Men must yes. look to God. And yes. I think, and I think, uh, you got that right point, Elder, because so many uh, times men want to look to themselves. Yep. Men and women want to look to themselves. But yep. we are all a creation of God, and so we must look. Yes. We must, we must go back to our creator. Amen. For all things. Amen. Amen. So here's, 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 here it is for all everybody wants to know. God created good and evil, Isaiah 45 and 7. In the King James Version, it says... I formed the light and created darkness. Jesus. I make peace and create evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, do all these things. However, some say that this verse, oh, okay. Yeah, so that's that's what it is right there. She said, I'm going to say it again. I formed the light mm -hmm. and created darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. That's oh, Isaiah 45 and 7. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 45 and 7. In that, he's giving you the indication that he creates all things. Mm -hmm. So this, brothers and sisters, is what gives us the connection to God. Mm -hmm. Right? This gives us connection Amen. to creation. Amen. Is that neither shall they say, lo here or lo there. Amen. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. This is the connection between us and God. Mm -hmm. Creation. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's in all living things, evil things and good things. He's in both. He created uh, evil and good. He yes. created night and light and darkness. Mm -hmm. Another one. Uh, the kingdom of heaven. 1 Corinthians 4. 20, the King James Version. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Hey. Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. In this, in, in, in this, in this scripture right here, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Yes. What is the first thing that gives you? After the Holy Ghost have come upon you, you shall have power. Yes. We're going to hit that scripture deck. Well, then you shall have power, right? And you, where did that power come from? The kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. That power comes from the kingdom of God. It's saying it's not in word. So in other words, you it's not about just saying, well, I, I know I'm saying, well, I know I love everybody. I know I I I I, uh, I care about everybody. I know I'm a I know I'm a Christian. I know I'm a faith walker. Yep. It's not in word. No. It's not in word. No. But it's in power. Yes. And what 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 gives you power? Action. Yes. Action gives what you power. Absolutely. Motor movement mm -hmm. gives you power. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. When you ride a bike. The bike is still. 
until you start what? Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Until you start pedaling, yeah. the bike is, st is, is still. It ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. It's not in word, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but in power. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus, 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 Jesus. So I can't say I love God and I love the kingdom of heaven and I'm not putting nothing in it. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting up behind it, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And it's and it's possible for you to do, yeah. Because I'm going back to what you said. Yes. But behold, the kingdom is within you. So within you, you, so you have it. You have you it. have access to it. You have access to All it. All you have to do is put that yes into action. Come on, come on, come just, on, come on. Just checking. Come on, come on, come on. I love God. Amen. How can you love me who you have not seen, and hate those who you see every day? Every Jesus. day. Jesus. You got to put it into Ooh. action. And you can't just do it with, nope. with the people that you like. Nope. Uh -uh. You cannot do that. Well, fellowship is it that you love those who love you. Mm -hmm. For those, but for what do you say? For those who are in sin, do that. Mm -hmm. What was that? What would that benefit you? Right. Nothing. Nothing. That's scripture. Tell That's me. scripture. Tell them, Tell them. <laughs> it's not in word. It's not in word. You know, man should not live by bread alone, but everything that comes out of the mouth of oh, God. God. Go out into the world and preach the gospel. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Woo. When you were, when you were uh, uh, in prison, you came and seen about me. Yes. Hallelujah. When I didn't have no food to eat, you gave me something yes. to eat. Hallelujah. hallelujah. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, when did we do these things? I'm gonna skip all the way down there real quick. We, 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 we got a little bit of time. I'm gonna skip all the way down there. When did we do this? When you did to the least of these, you have done mm -hmm. for me. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Pastor, yes, what does the kingdom of God do for you? What does the kingdom of God do for you? I'm glad you asked that, babe. Thank you for keeping me on point. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> One, we're going to go over these real quick. It keeps you in peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26. It keeps you in peace. You want to grab that or you want to? I was going to. I was going to grab it, but I didn't, I didn't do it in time. So I'm no, it's all good. It's all good. It, it says it keeps you in peace whose mind is stayed on thee. We paraphrase that. Whose mind is stayed on thee. When you're in the kingdom of God, when you're moving in the kingdom of God, it keeps you in perfect peace. What does that mean? No matter what comes your way, mm -hmm. I still have access to peace. Yes. I still have access to the ability to move past, mm -hmm. hallelujah, those mm -hmm. things that try to disturb my peace. Jesus. Woo! Move past those things who try to attack me yeah. on my everyday walk, right? Yeah, Lord. Why? Because I'm living in a peaceful mindset. Mm -hmm. Divine of Christ is within you. Mm -hmm. Leading and guiding you to all truth and into the will of the Father. Hallelujah. You're in that realm of God. Yes. I will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on oh, thee. Yes. When your mind is stayed on thee, yes. creativity is happening. Yes, Lord. When your mind is stayed on thee, joy like the river of a flowing stand happening, right? Mm -hmm. That's the next one. Mm -hmm. When your mind is in, when you're in peace, mm -hmm. right? You'll be able to understand the, the big picture of what God has for you to do. Yes. You understand I have to be about my father's business. Yes. When your mind is stayed on thee. Yes, Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. I'll keep you in peace. You mean, Lord, you'll keep me in peace when my job is at the people at the crazy on my job? 
I will keep you in perfect peace. You mean, Lord God, when I'm I'm at home and these bills hit me and I and I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna take care of them, I will keep you in perfect peace. Lord, you mean to tell me when my kids are acting up and I, I, I can't seem to get to them and yes. see what's going on, get to the heart of the matter, I will keep you in perfect peace yes. whose mind is stayed on yes. thee. Lord, I need you to keep me in that area, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where my mind is not disturbed. Keep yes. me in that area. Hallelujah. Where my peace is not disturbed. Why? Yes. Because I need to hear from from you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need to hear from you. Mm -hmm. When your mind is stayed on thee, he's speaking to you. Yes. When your mind is stayed on thee, he is teaching you. Yes, Lord. Every moment is a teachable moment. Yes, mm -hmm. even in the trials and the tests. Mm -hmm. That's why he said the trials and the tests come to make you strong. How do you get strong? How do you get strong? By resistance. Hey. By building. Yes. A core. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. By going against the negative and the positive. Yes. Making them all move together. Moving your bones. Yes. Moving your body. Getting down on your knees. Prostrating in front of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need you. Lord, I can't make it without you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Lord, it's one of those days where I feel like I'm being tried. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But only you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, can keep me in perfect peace. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Only you mm. can keep me in perfect peace. Number two, joy like a river overflowing. Joy like a river overflowing. The first time I think about that, the first thing I think about that, I know that's John 16 and 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. But you know what else that, that gives me that with that river overflowing? Samaria woman. Ah. Right? Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Just for a second. I just want to, because of joy, like a river overflowing. Mm -hmm. What did he say to you? He said, you are thirst. Yes. From that well, that little well that your, <laughs> your ancestors made. <laughs> you are thirst. Mm -hmm. But what she say to him? Lord, I want to drink from your mm -hmm. well. Jesus. Yes, because that Ooh. water, she was never thirsty. Never thirsty again. <laughs> I was good. I was good. I was a good lesson last time. Hey, that's a good lesson. <laughs> somebody say something. Somebody say somebody say something. Anybody have something to say? I see the something light up. What is up? I think that's mother's name. Okay, no. Okay. All right. Yeah, but but she, she, she trying to say so. No, she's not muted. Okay. Mother Snake, you have a comment? No, she no. Okay. okay, go ahead. So so in that position, right? Mm -hmm. That joy that Jesus talked about to the Samaritan woman, that river that uh, they're talking about in John, mm -hmm. that's the river that overflows, that never runs dry. That's the connection. To heaven, the kingdom yes, of God. That's the connection. It will never run dry. Meaning you'll never run out. Mm -hmm. You'll never run out, right? Mm -hmm. You'll never run out. God is always there to supply, right? Amen. He will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Mm -hmm. That's what that joy like a river overflowing. Mm -hmm. Joy like a river overflowing. Amen. Right? Amen. Now here's another one. Let's go to it. Number three, the kingdom of heaven gives you power, like they talk about. Luke 10 and 19, the King James Version, behold, I give unto you power to tread over serpents and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Watch this. You mean to overcome Abuse, overcome all of the powers of the enemy. Mm -hmm. You mean to overcome addiction, 
overcome all the powers of the enemy. You mean overcome hate? Overcome all the powers of the enemy. You mean overcome hurt? Overcome all of the powers of the enemy. Hallelujah. And watch this. And nothing shall be by any means hurt you. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'll give you the power through the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. which is within you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Through the Holy Spirit that gives you the power. Hallelujah. Yeah, to tread over serpents and yeah. scorpions and overcome all of your enemies. Yes, Lord Jesus. Overcome all of your enemies. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, man. You got something to say? Go ahead. It is a, the, the power. It yes. just go, keeps going back to that. God yes. gives you what you need. Yes. And it makes me think about those 10 versions. Ooh, they had what they needed. Yes. Yes. They had what they needed. Now, yes. We, I'm sure you're going to discuss what yeah. some of those women yeah. did with that power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just, but we have the power to go past all of the serpents yes. and the scorpions yes. in our life. Yes. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Yep. But you got to remember that you, God has given you the power. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Okay. Okay. I have a question. Go ahead. Well, we listen to you. Go ahead. What you, so, go ahead. Yeah. so what we need to do is right. learn how to use our power to mm -hmm. uh, Come on, say one more time. all of these things. Say it one more time. So we need to learn how to use our power to combat all these enemies that we're facing. Amen. We're in the kingdom of God, we're living in Amen. You know, God's kingdom. Amen. Here on earth and it's in us, but a lot of us mm -hmm. can do a lot of strife because we don't know how to use the power that we're given. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is that be uh, something that maybe we could benefit from working on? Yeah, the, yeah. Those, are the things, those are the things we gotta work on. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because people yeah. now you know, uh um Mother Cena and I went to this uh brunch last week. Mm -hmm. And it was a uh, uh, leading ladies, and most people think leading ladies is someone that um, has a title, uh, is a, in a place of absolute authority. Um, and the speaker said that each and every woman in that room is a leading lady. Jesus. And she said the problem is most of you don't know it. Jesus, most of you don't know. Uh, what you have and you're not using the gifts that God has given you to move forward Amen. To, to to let to really let the Lord use you so I Amen. do agree with you that a lot of people do not understand the power that they have that the, that God has given them and they're often we go I keep going back to um one of the first lessons that pastor spoke on on activate is that they're stuck. You become stuck because you don't know who you are and you don't know what God has given you. Amen. You absolutely don't. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm glad you said that, uh, Mama Carter, because uh, we had up here, uh, we just improvised a little bit, how to use your kingdom of heaven power. Well, I'm going to let you... Uh, One. <laughs> <laughs> One is to pray. Yes. Pray without cease. Amen. <laughs> Always pray, right? That's one. That's one way how to use your power is to always pray. Yes. Pray to God. Pray for power. Amen. Amen. Number Amen. two is to listen to God. Hallelujah. We have spoken about that yeah. before, Pastor. 
Yeah, we listened. We spoke about that. What was that? That uh, help on stuff. Yes, and we yeah. can, um, we might even have to replay that. Yeah, we're gonna have to replay that. It's mm -hmm. important to listen to God because most people start speaking. God, I want this. God, I want yeah. that. God, I, I need you to give me a job. God, I need a new yeah. car. God, I need you, you to fix mm -hmm. my kids. God, I need some food. I yes. want to eat a steak and not ramen noodles tonight. God. Yes. And they never listen to what they never listen. We in that prayer. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said that, baby, because we talked about that too. The prayer mm -hmm. is not just about you speaking to God. Yes. But praying, mm -hmm. praying is about you listening, listening. to God. Listening to God. Mm -hmm. That's these are some of the things mm -hmm. that is really important to how to use your kingdom power. Yes. You pray. Yes. You pray. First, you pray. Second, you listen to God. Yeah. Third, you hope you help those in need. Yes. You help those in need. You start, you, you're, you're actually putting what God is telling you to work. You know, you're putting what God is blessing you with to work. So yes, you, you know, you, hey man, I got, I may not have nothing but an extra 10 bucks. Well, guess what? You can take that 10 bucks. You can buy some, some simple things. You can buy bread. You can buy noodles. You can buy chicken. You can, you, know, you can buy some chicken parts and you can give those to the, those in need, you know, uh, go ahead. what you want to say, man? So Grace. Thank you, Grace. Um, uh, <laughs> also, another social media coordinator. Oh, oh yeah. You don't know how to clean your account. She said, I agree with Mrs. Carter, mm -hmm. but I also say that not many people are teaching lessons for people to learn. Amen. Many uh, pulpits have become uh, showcases. Jesus. And she also said that uh, prayer is also about praying the word and yes. not always praying the problem. Amen. And I Amen. and I do, I do I do agree yes. with Grace on that. Yes. But some people don't know the word. No. Mm -mm. They're not reading it. And, no. I, and and I would encourage everyone uh, tonight mm -hmm. to go back. And read uh Matthew 25. Yes. I would yes. absolutely get get in, get you get in tune with it. Yes. Reading the scripture. Yes. Um, and, and letting the Lord speak to you through the word. Yes. Uh, because some people get intimidated. Oh, well, I don't know all those big words. Yes. So Google got translator ready for you. Hey, let me uh, tell you something. Sometimes you probably ain't got time to know all of the word, but help! I need help. That is a prayer inside of itself. Amen. Man, listen. Ah, the enemy is attacking me. Sometimes I, hey man, I don't know how. I don't know how a lot of people, you know, pray get down. I, I get it. You guys are right. Uh, but I have been in a situation in the car. You think in a car accident, you going, you spinning out. You just think about every time you spin down. What do you do? Did you say Matthew two and twenty five said this? No, you said. Jesus. 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 I'm sliding. I'm gonna be low. You forgot about that. You were teenagers and you were on Grand River. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> mm -mm. Hey, man, I, I mean, I, mean, I was like, I remember, man, I, I gotta tell the story like it's right, man. I gave me up real life. Oh, I'm but... I was listening to some D'Angelo. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Going to going to work. And it was snowing outside. I mean, it was one of those snows that you couldn't even see nothing but tire tracks. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, man, why why they gotta let me go all the way out here in Nova and there's all this snow? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, 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 dang, you know. So we get we get to riding. I'm riding down the expressway. I'm riding down Grand River. Mm -hmm. And you know how Grand River turns into M5. It's the expressway. And I'm driving, just to driving. And the, the whole car just, woo, went over into the embankment. Mm -hmm. And then the old coming, it was two. I don't think it was just one semi. It was two semis <laughs> coming down that, that way. And all I can say is, Jimmy I did get it. <laughs> Tell them what else you did, Pastor. Because <laughs> we were teenagers. Tell them what else you did, Pastor. <laughs> so, I, I wanted a brother, you can show me one time I fake and I, I listen. 
I took that D'Angelo album out and sprinted it out the way. <laughs> it was a stance. And a good luck. <laughs> I threw that thing out the wood like it was a frisbee, and I was like, "Yo!" I was like, "Hey, man!" Yes, Lord. I turned, turned on the word of God, my, my gospel. I was, I was listening all the way to the church. Didn't have no problems. Didn't have no problems, man. I tell you. Now, Elder Robinson said, "Once a month of prayer helps. Yeah. Yeah. It works for me." I agree. He, but he, he said, <laughs> "Let me tell you." It was this close to the semi truck. My car did just like this and missed it and turned around. I said, Woo! Jesus, Jesus. Sometimes you you ain't sometimes you ain't got time for a whole a whole scripture, man. Mm -hmm. You just gonna have to, Lord, I need you. Help, you Hello, know. Jesus. And it was right there. Amen. 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 <laughs> Listen to the guy that threw that, that CD out. I threw that CD out. <laughs> the idea of a CD, y'all remember? <laughs> that was a long time ago, amen. Now, now we streaming, but we'll yeah. have to get our CD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we gonna we gonna uh, we gonna tackle uh, the ten verse we can. You want me? You want me to? You want me to bring it up, Pastor? No, nah, we we're doing next time. We are gonna hit that. This is a two. This is a two. A two uh parter right here. Um okay. we're gonna we're gonna finish it up next week, next uh the following activate. But yeah, this these these right here, brothers and sisters, we want you to understand what the kingdom of God does for you. And and like uh Mama Carter and like uh Sister Grace said, um you you, you gotta be able to mm -hmm. uh, understand mm -hmm. your power. But yeah. how do you understand the problem the kingdom of having a problem within your life? You got to stay connected to it. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that because it gives us a chance as a unit to mm -hmm. break things down and add to it. Amen. Amen. We appreciate that. Amen. 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 You got you got something you want to say, Mama? You well, I I was hoping Oops, we sorry. I was hoping we was gonna get some more, but it's it's so it's so good. Yes, and yes. we want everybody to uh to be a part of it. Um and and I encourage everyone to continue yes. to look at Matthew 25. And uh we will be back with uh with a second session, amen. Amen for uh for journeying through the parables. Amen. Uh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Yay. Amen. Technology was trying to get me, y'all. <laughs> We're not having it today. Amen. 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 So, uh, this is end of session one. Amen. And uh, we encourage everyone to, uh, to sow a seed. And there are three ways to give at Greater Ecclesia. You can give uh, by sending a donation to Greater Ecclesia yes. uh, using that handle at PayPal. You can also uh, use Cash App. Using dollar sign bless capital G capital E capital T, and if you hate either one of those, you can always <laughs> send us a check uh, to our PO box. And remember that all checks must be made out to Ecclesia of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, reason for the season is this Saturday Amen. at one thirty. We are going to be at Martin Luther King Apartments in Detroit. Um, the event features art and crafts, Let's Eat Outreach, and Youth Storytime. And uh, Latia Wright, author of Raven Strong, yes. and India Canty, author of The Magical Shell, and I See God. Amen. They will be on site. They're going to be reading to our young people, encouraging literacy. Yes. Uh, there will be giveaways for our young people, uh, but we still need your help. If you would like to donate to this event, to put a gift in the hands of a young person through books, Bibles, toys, uh, please encourage and uh, we encourage you to donate on Cash App Amen. tonight. Amen. Amen. Also, uh, we also have an Amazon page. Um, it has a wonderful gift list. That is the link right there. We always post it on our social media channels. I hope you've been there, Facebook and Instagram. Um, it's also on our YouTube channel. Amen. And finally, uh, get connected. Summer edition. Hey, I'm excited for this. 
Uh, the topic for this month is You Can Do It. Yes. Business 101. And our guest speaker is LaShonda Cooper. Now, LaShonda is a business coach uh, for the Detroit Development Fund, and she is ready for you, whether you are uh, thinking about starting a business, just started a business, or you've been in the game for almost 20 years, <laughs> and you still need some help. Right. Uh, she is uh, she is there for you, and that will be on July the 25th on, uh, on Zoom and Facebook yep. at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Amen. And so again, we thank everyone for coming out you have been activated. activated. Amen. 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 So now I will turn it over into the hands of Pastor who will end us out in prayer. Amen. I'd like to thank anybody that came out and um, enter in the chat and, and break bread with us. Amen. We got all the people from Georgia and all across the uh, United States that tuned in. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you so much. And we appreciate this. This is, this is what it's about. This is about mm -hmm. us learning together, getting together, diving into the word of God and, <laughs> and applying it to our everyday life. Amen. Amen. And if you have questions, yes. you, you can put it in the chat. Uh, Pastor will be monitoring yes. for uh, at least an hour after uh, after our live stream. <laughs> and um, also you can email us at greaterecclesia313 at gmail.com. Amen. Amen. So real quick, let us bow our heads. Anybody have anything to say? Any any last words before we dive into the prayer? Amen. I have one word. Go ahead. I love you all, but did you say you broke bread? What y'all eat? <laughs> um, Auntie Sanji, we will talk about that after Bible. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> she know we good. <laughs> she can smell it all the way in Georgia. <laughs> Come on, let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Merciful Father, we thank you today, thank Lord God. Open us up, Lord God, through the word of God. Having a conversation, Lord God. Coming to an understanding, Lord God, to apply in our everyday life, Lord God. Use us as we wake up, Lord God, and go out through our day, Lord God, that we may do the things, Lord God, that are pleasing yes. to you, Lord God. Stay connected mm -hmm. to the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Yes, Always in our minds and our thoughts, Lord God, and in our deeds. Have your way in Jesus' name, we pray and say, amen. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>